What's up guys, welcome back to Whisper Tactical. My name's John and today I wanna revisit the JTS AR-12. Guys, before we get into this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload new content. If you like this video, then smash that thumbs up button for me. That would be a great help. And if you feel compelled to, share my content. It's greatly appreciated. Guys, if you have any experiences whatsoever with the JTS AR-12, whether it's the T1 with the, with the M-Lock handguard or it's just the, I guess the generation before that that kind of looks like an M16 for say, that plastic handguard. Either one, let us know your experiences down in the comments below. We also would greatly appreciate that. That way other people can read those comments and decide on whether or not they want to spend their hard earned money on something like this or they want to go with another product. So I had a little bit of problems with this in the original video. As you know, it started having some reliability problems towards the end of the video once I got home, I realized that my castle nut had actually came loose and every bit of this was moving. When that was happening, what that was causing was as I'd put it to my shoulder and pull the trigger, it would bend. Instead of just being a whole straight unit here, uh, it would actually bend and the buffer tube would kind of go either to the left or to the right and that was actually binding the bolt carrier group up. I did a video painting this gun. Go back and look in my videos however long ago that was. I locked this bolt to the rear in that video and this is the first time that it's been sent home. So I'm hoping that that has really weakened this buffer spring back here and by doing so it's going to allow me to shoot this and it probably should in theory be a touch more reliable than it was in the original video so i'm going to test it the way i test everything and i get my good old faithful federal red box i really hope this runs you have to understand uh i love jts full disclosure uh those guys have reached out to me and they want me to torture some of their products, which as you all know, I am very good at that. <laughs> this was a failed jam -o matic in the beginning, and within a couple of hundred rounds, this shouldn't have come undone. So hopefully, now that my gunsmith, I took it to a gunsmith and had him tighten it up to what specs he thought it should have been tightened up to, and I'm gonna run it. Hopefully we're on three. This, this dial is a little bit different than the JTS AK-12. So let's see, I don't have no sights. Guess safety. Okay, so the gas is off because it's not cycling at all. So I'm not gonna rack that round. I'm gonna change it up to the next setting. Okay, now we are on gas setting one. Okay, it didn't cycle on one. Hey, let's just go ahead and put it on three. May as well, right? Ah, that didn't have a very good ejection pattern. I forgot about this problem with the AR-12 where the round actually goes up for some reason when you put the magazine in. Then when you send the bolt home and pull the trigger, there is no round in the chamber. That is something that definitely needs to be worked on. And that is on the third gas setting. So it's just one of those things. As much as I love the JTS products, man, this gun, bro, it just doesn't, just doesn't want to run. Okay, now, forward assist works. All right, setting three. Ah, man. That gone it. I don't know. Let's go back to uh, setting one. Maybe it'll run on setting one. You know what? I'm wondering if maybe my gas puck is not lined up properly. Nah. Either way, I'm getting the same amount of gas. Nah. Either way, guys, I'm getting the same amount of gas flow through to this, whether I'm on the first setting, the second setting, the third setting. Ah. 
See, that, what's weird about this thing, let's try some universal Winchester seven and a half shot heavy loads. These are what the gun calls for, 1200 feet per second. I want a gun that will run everything. I don't want a gun that I'm gonna have to only put expensive ammo through. I want something that will run everything. Bro, that completely flipped the shell around backwards and somehow it flipped it out and sucked it back in. I'm not really sure how that happened, but it, did you see it with your eye? I'm like, I seen it out of the corner of my eye because it grabbed it, flipped it out and around backwards. No, bro, look, look at that. So, like I said, man, that's a double wedge shell. Like, uh, that empty shell is getting shoved into the chamber with a live round and it's just a frustrating ordeal to try to to try to get that ah, shit. Ah. i'm gonna give it a couple of slugs and i'm gonna show you that the gun will run I mean, don't get me wrong, the gun will run, but it will only run higher powered rounds. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad gun. Just like the Saga 12 and the Vepper 12, they're not bad guns. They're just picky on what they like to eat. So like this one, it'll run these slugs. I'm fairly certain of it. I don't have any sights. And it just fell on a slug. Are you kidding me? Did it eject it? Yeah, it flew past my face. Let me give it some Federal Power Shock, give you a couple different brands of slugs through it. It won't run 1145. It won't run 1185. It won't run... 1150 it won't even run 1200 sometimes it'll run 1200 sometimes it won't but for the most part it won't run 1200 let's throw some turkey loads in it these are three inch four shots they're pretty daggone high powered rounds here we go. Ah, dog. Ah. Didn't strip the next round. Didn't strip the next round. God, that hurts to shoot. Mm. That one kicks much harder than the 12, the AK-12. Give it a go at the Federal Uplands. I don't know why it wasn't stripping those turkey loads. The recoil was so intense through that gun with those turkey loads that it hurt the inside of my trigger finger. And like, recoil really doesn't bother me besides the 500 Magnum, which I hate shooting that gun. The trigger is not quite as good on this gun as it is. Well, maybe it's because I got 5,000 rounds through the AK-12. And, but at 500 rounds, you know, uh, 500 rounds, this gun should be well broken in. Well broken in. Seeing as how I only run it on the fifth setting. If I run it on the fifth setting, or the fifth setting, Jesus, the, the third setting, with everything that I put through it, should definitely... So, I mean, it'll run, but you've got to put some stuff in there that's at least 1350, 
1400 feet per second before it will run now these federal uplands it's running them it did not reliably run these winchester super x and they're 1325 yeah 1325 feet per second i will i'll i got five more of them left right here i'll load up a uh, five round mag of them and then uh we will call it a day That's 1325 feet per second, yo. That is that is uh one th that is 125 feet per second faster than what the manual recommends for that. That has had a few hundred rounds put through it, every bit of 500 rounds, well over 500 rounds now. And that bolt has been locked back for two or three months. I mean, honestly, it's been locked back for two or three months. It won't run anything besides slugs, buckshot, turkey loads and 1400 feet per second or faster so just know that it is a reliable gun don't i'm not saying it's a bad gun just like i wouldn't say that the saga and the vepers are bad guns because they're not bad they're quality made guns they're just very picky on what ammunition they like to shoot i have 22s you know what i mean i have 22s that were 100 bucks that will eat and run everything and then i have 22s that were 700 bucks that won't run certain rounds so it's kind of the same deal with this just when you buy this gun just understand that the ammo that you're going to have to buy for this gun is high powered quality ammunition and you'll be fine but guys that's pretty much it i am done messing with this gun because honestly i don't i don't like it i don't like messing with it just because it doesn't do what i want it to do i like to shoot on the cheap because I don't have a lot of money to waste. Uh, I say that after I just dumped like a hundred and some dollars worth of ammo just for the sake of a video. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope you understand that this, this gun is not junk. I can't express it enough. It's not junk. It's a very sturdy gun and it will run when you give it what it needs to run. Guys, remember like, subscribe, share, comment down below, hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload new content. Until next time, I love you guys so much. See you, bye, bye.